How's it going everybody? It's Nova and welcome back to another episode of Snapshot Survival. It is episode number four and we're starting things off in the base which looks a bit different. See before it pretty much just was a bed and a couple of chests kind of laid around and a couple of furnaces but now we have four furnaces and we have definitely organized our chests. We have the wood chest, we have sand and some cobblestone. We have the rest of the other stone and cobblestone here mainly with gravel. And here is our precious items chest where we have the heart of the sea that we got last episode. And obviously redstone, lapis, gold, diamonds, emerald, prismarine crystals. We have here coal and iron. We have all the food stuff here and uh, the plant stuff. And here's just kind of the rest of the items. We have some mop drops here, some paper, wool, and some tools, and that TNT we found in that chest for some reason. It was there. And then over here, we have an enchanting table with the full bookshelf instead of just the normal enchanting table without any other books. And we have an anvil. And uh, I have a sharpness 3 and respiration 2 enchanted book here, which... If we had a helmet, I would have attached it to so that we could breathe underwater a bit better, but we don't, so probably make another helmet at some point. Other than that, we still have our crops here, the potatoes, the carrots, the wheat. Actually, the carrots are probably new. Uh, we have chickens, as usual. Oops, I fell in. And cows and sheep over there. And in terms of achievements, we don't have any new ones just yet. We still need to get these... Uh, advancements here because uh, we tried to get those last episode but kind of struck bad luck there oh and I still I still don't have this achievement like I can probably go and get that achievement right now there we go got that advancement and we're just gonna place that back and back to the main thing but today we're gonna be working on a little bit of a different thing we're gonna be focusing on the snapshot features that regard coral, kelp, and carved pumpkins. So right now we are actually in the pre-release number two of 1.13. I don't think that there's too many other changes. They might have done a bunch of bug fixing. That's pretty much all that's left or all that's... I mean there actually have been a few other features that have changed. I know that they had changed the bark blocks in the pre-release one to be something quite different, if you guys can tell. Before the pre-release, bark blocks were like this. Basically, when you take four oak logs, you can make this bark block, which is basically all sides of the bark of the tree, instead of that, uh, instead of this log like this, you have this, you know, the inside of it showing, this would show the bark all the way around it. That's why it's called the bark block. But in the pre-release version 1, Mojang actually changed this design so that for some reason on the top and bottom of it, there was this kind of design that wasn't necessarily looking like this, but it was kind of like this, but this color and pattern, but like sort of this similar pattern as well and i'll i'll throw up an image to show you guys because i can't actually go you know I don't, i'm not going to go back into the versions to just show you guys i can just throw up an image and it'll be that easy but they have now actually changed that back because that was a really no one really liked that idea and they got really angry at uh at when when they did that so I mean, I think it's a good move on their part that they went back to that because, you know, that kind of defeats the whole purpose. The whole purpose of the bark block is so that all sides of it are the bark texture and not that kind of like inside of the tree ring texture. Other than that, I think that they did change the recipe for getting packed ice or compressed ice is now that it's called. I don't have the recipe right here to show you, but I could also throw up another image there to show you guys exactly what's going on with that. But those are just two of the changes that they have changed. They had basically taken advice from the fans for this. So that's what they, they, they put these changes in into the pre-release version 2. And those are kind of some of the two main changes that 
at least I really like, and I think that are really important to the game. But another feature we'll be focusing on is uh, this guy. This is the pumpkin. We have uh, five of them here. So in 1.13, pumpkins will no longer grow with the face. You actually just have a normal pumpkin, because this is actually how pumpkins look in real life. I don't really understand why the pumpkin is generated with a face. That wasn't really real. But if we take some shears, which we're going to craft up right now, and when you do it, you get the face on it. But you also get some seeds as well. Wow, we got four from that. And now you can wear it. And also we get the recipe for uh So yeah, that's pretty cool. Another thing that we have seen lots of during these episodes, but actually haven't tried anything with, is kelp. Now, kelp are these little, uh, kind of like, reeds that, that go up from the seafloor. And if you break the bottom part, basically all these little leafy things fly out of it. Um, I only got a few of them. Where are they? Oh. But now that we have a bunch of this kelp, what can you do with kelp? Well, you can't really do too much with it in this form. In fact, what you really need to do is cook it. So when you cook it, you get something called dried kelp. Now, you can actually eat this thing. I don't really know why you'd want to. It's kind of kind of nasty looking, but if we can get our hunger down and when you eat it, Oh, well, it, it used to be that when you would eat this, it would go super quickly. But now it kind of seems like, I don't know if it's quicker or... That does seem a little bit quicker, but it used to, I feel like it used to be a lot quicker. Um, it, it only does one hunger bar, but as you can tell, you do eat it a little bit quicker. Really kind of not really worth the amount of hunger it gives you, or the amount of saturation it gives you. Because see, yeah, you're already down after that. But another thing that you can do with this block is you can actually make it into this. A dried kelp block. Which at this point, I don't really know if it is anything. It's probably just a, yeah, it's just a, a decorative block. Kind of looks like a hay bale, but other than the way that it looks, it doesn't actually do anything too differently. It's kind of got a strange little pattern here. It's like... It actually looks like a square version of kelp, if that was ever uh, an example of it. And uh, yeah, like it's tied together. Kind of like a present. Also, I don't know if anyone else has covered this, but there's a new message that appears when you click a bed during the daytime. It says, you can sleep only at night and during thunderstorm. Now, this is something that's been in the game for a while. You could always kind of sleep during kind of like really dark thunderstorms because... Basically, it's really loud, and, you know, it gets kind of dark, and I, I guess the game allows you to sleep, because whenever you sleep, it changes the weather to clear. But it never has said that before. Basically, usually only it says you can sleep only at night, and now it says you can sleep only at night and during thunderstorms. The next thing on the list that we want to go check out is coral, and I saved this for the end because I don't actually know where in the biome that we're in at the moment there is coral. I don't think that I've actually come across a little coral forest. I think it's actually quite rare to come across coral in the overworld, in a normal vanilla world. But hopefully we can go and find one of those because that would be pretty cool if we could find some coral. So it took me a little bit of time to find a coral reef biome. And because those biomes, the coral reefs, they tend to only spawn in warm ocean biomes. Now, if we go over here, this is, I think, a cold ocean or a deep ocean or whatever it's called. Uh, so it still says plains, beaches. And once we reach the ocean, yeah, see, this is an ocean. And pretty much out there is more ocean. I'm not exactly sure how warm this is. But I think it goes like cold ocean, ocean, lukewarm ocean, and then it goes to warm ocean. So I did end up finding a warm ocean with a coral reef biome in it. And I found some other stuff as well. 
I found a, uh, an iceberg biome. So we're going to go and visit the coral reef biome after we visit the iceberg biome. And we're basically, we're basically just going to use commands to teleport there because I am not boating all the way over there. Uh, it's pretty obvious that you know, we're going to just end up using commands. All right. So as you can tell, we've been teleported to the iceberg biome that I found when I was looking for the coral reef biome. Obviously, I was looking for a warm ocean, so probably not the best idea to look in a cold ocean. But I still found this somehow. And this is just crazy. Look at this place. I mean, this is this is just awesome. I've never this is the first time I've actually been in this biome. <laughs> Alright, let's try and see if we can jump up here. Oh. And as you can tell, we don't have a slow touch pickaxe, so we can't really mine any of this. Not that we would, because this is such a beautiful biome, but still, I mean, this is crazy. Let's, like, get the boat out. I'm not going to show you guys around. I don't think I've spotted any blue ice just yet, although, what is that? Oh, right. <laughs> There's also an ocean monument here. I kind of found that a little bit hilarious because well there's an ocean monument in an iceberg biome so these guys are probably super frozen right now see here's some blue ice and obviously you still need silk touch for blue ice there's really not any difference between the two but wow look at this that's so cool yeah i i've read before that most of an iceberg's mass is below the sea and that's kind of why they are perfect ship sinkers, because when the ships hit them, because the mass of the iceberg is actually a lot heavier underneath the water, there's more mass of it, uh, the ship does not just push the iceberg. The iceberg basically pushes into the ship, and it makes a bunch of holes. Cool idea for a base would be like an iceberg base. Just like, you know, kind of carve your way into the iceberg, and that would just be... Really cool base. I mean, this is kind of like basically having your own ice castle or ice mountain, I guess. But then you can make your own ice castle. And I think it goes on a little bit that way. Uh, I'm not really sure. It goes on a little bit this way. Here's some more blue ice. There's kind of like an island right in the middle of it, which is actually really interesting. This is going to be Iceberg Island from now on. I will claim this island and name it Iceberg Island because, well, basically it's... hey. There's another island over there. Anyway, I think we should head off to the coral reef so that we can see the awesome coral. All right. And now we are at the coral reef biome. But yeah, it's right over here. All right. Look at this biome. Wow. This is insane. Look at this. Well, there's tons of different types of tropical fish here. Actually, I think these are cod. But yeah, look at this. That is insane. Like, looking at it from above is really interesting. Let's see if we can get over here. Is some of this already dead? Oh no, it's just pink. Okay. So if we... I'm not sure if we actually need Silk Touch for this. Okay, we don't need Silk Touch to get the block, but it looks like we can only get the dead types of it. Okay. Might as well get one of each, right? Got one of the brain coral, and here's the dead coral. Hey, wait, whoa. Wait, hold on. Can we get the, the fans as well? Oh, you can just get them. Oh, and of course, there's another item that was introduced in the snapshots in 1.13. It is the sea pickle. Oh, and you can use, you can put them into a furnace to make lime die but another property of the sea pickle is that when you go into kind of a more deep area let's, let's go into a more deep darkish area you can use these as light a light source you can put more and it makes an even brighter light source but now as we see we can look down and there's a light source at the bottom the sea pickles actually are basically like an underwater torch the cool part about the underwater torch though the sea pickle is that you can basically stack them together in the same block. So if we go around and we check out more sea pickles. Yeah, see, here's one that has four. You can put at least four into it, because I think 
can't put any more. Yeah, see, so you got one right there. That is so cool. Where'd they go? Oh man, this this biome just looks really awesome. It do, it's not even that big. So it stretches this far on one end and then it goes all the way over. Oh wow, it is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. It basically just keeps going on kind of like in a a line. Which I'm guessing this is exactly how coral reefs are in the real world. They're just kind of like, you know, like a little line of coral in the reef. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm not really even sure what uh, is in there besides lots of cool fish and coral. But wow, this block is so cool. The coral blocks are amazing. I wish that we had a silk touch pickaxe or something. Some sort of silk touch tool so we can actually get them. But really all we have is these block is a uh, we can still get the coral fans now can the coral fans be placed outside okay so the coral fans can basically be placed on any block as long as they're underwater all right i can get behind but behind that i mean i don't really know if we're going to be doing too much designing underneath the water but i mean if we did we would definitely come back here and just get a bunch of blocks although can we make this undead if uh it's placed on the ground. That's kind of weird. Why doesn't it... Uh... I guess once coral is dead, you can't really bring it back to life. This is now known as ghost coral. <laughs> I, I guess the interesting part about the dead coral is that it will make some really... It will make for some really cool stone variants. So that might be one of the reasons why people get the coral reef stuff is because, well... You can make a lot of different stone variants when making like paths or walls or you know whatever. And I think that I want to get into that. I want to make some uh, some different stuff. Although we don't really have all this breath right now. Wow. We do have uh, that book with uh, respiration back at our place, but uh, it did not bring the element with me. I think one of my favorite blocks is the brain coral. I mean, it looks, it looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of like endstone. In fact, this almost kind of looks like they just took endstone and they changed the colors. So basically, we now have a gray version of endstone. I don't know. Maybe when we go to the end, we'll uh, we'll compare. The other one that I like is this blue one. Now, what is this called? I forget what the names of them are called. Looks like a uh, tube coral. Definitely something that looks pretty cool. Yeah, tube coral, fire coral, bubble coral. When they first added these, I thought that there was going to be uh, like at least one in each color, which that would have been some really cool stuff. So we we would have had a pattern for each color. It's a more fire coral. It's so lit. <laughs> so how much do we have? We have. Some tube coral, we have one piece. We are getting so much of this, like, fans and stuff like that. I don't know if I want... Oh, I'm actually also able to get this? Just the normal coral? Can I just place that down? Ah, oh, see, that's so cool. I wish that that was, like, like, an actual thing that you could place kind of on just anything. Not necessarily, like, like underwater. Not, not necessarily only being underwater. We should probably build an underwater base at some point. What, what happened here? I think we made floating coral. Hey, another thing about the sea pickle is that when you place it on dry land, you get kind of this weird little like pickle without the tail on it. And it does not produce any light at all. It does kind of, however, look like it does, however, kind of look like bamboo. So I think that that would be kind of cool if that was used as like a, uh, like if they were going to go for like a style, like a Japanese style, you know, with the bamboo shoots. I mean, that would be some pretty cool design if that was, if that was the case. Whee! Where am I? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Whew. That was close. Whoa, what is, what is with all these items? Where did these items come from? What? I don't remember having these items out here. That's kind of strange. 
How is it not placing? Okay. Oh, we need an empty bucket. Oh, well, at least I got all the all the, the rest of the items. Let's get that. Get that. Let's do this the safe way. Buy items. I'm gonna put these blocks in with the stone. Because they just look super awesome. We'll probably just put all the coral in here where the plant stuff is. Because why not? And the sea pickles. So, there are many different designs that we could try out. There's just basically just putting them in randomly. Let's see how this looks, to be honest. This looks really... Looks kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Or we could try pattern stuff. I don't really know how that would work. I do like the difference that it's not even like... It's not even like gray, it's like brownish gray. Or maybe they're all different. Are they all different? Yeah, they're all kind of the same in terms of color. But I think that's pretty cool. So if we wanted to do something like that, and then we would do something like that as like a, a little modifier, or like a little, uh, what do you call it? Like a little design, we could put something in the middle here. Mm, how does that look? That looks a bit strange. Maybe it's because this should be a different in a different place. Yeah. See, I kind of like that. Oh man! And once you stack the uh, once you stack the brain coral up, oh my god, this kind of looks like like honeycombs or or dragon scales. Huh? It does actually look like dragon scales, and that kind of leads me to believe that endstone might be just dragon scale design changed up in color. Hmm. I wonder what the rest of them look like when they're all stacked up together. That one just looks like really thin coral. What if we did something like this? Or you put cobblestone kind of in the middle of it. See, I like that. That looks really cool. Like the cobblestone, weirdly enough, cobblestone is probably the, like the least used blocks in design because, well, it kind of looks, you know, not really that great. But when putting cobblestone kind of in between these blocks, it really makes the cobblestone pop out and look good. Like, I'm not going to lie, this looks, this looks really interesting. I'm definitely going to start trying to build some buildings with these types of color palettes because that would be really cool. I don't know if I like the tube coral as much as I did before. What does it look like? The tube coral just looks like a bunch of eyes. And then the, the, the bubble coral. The bubble coral for some reason just looks like a bunch of like beans or worms like together. I don't really know how to say that any better. It just looks kind of blurry for the most part. And when putting the cobblestone there, wow. Yeah, see, I don't like the cobblestone with the bubble coral. The bubble coral is too busy, but when putting it with this one... Mm, I kind of like it with the fire coral, I guess. Yeah, I like it with the fire coral, because the fire coral kind of looks the closest to like a, like a, a log. Like a tree log block. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And then the brain coral. The brain coral just has a great texture on its own. I mean, I think that if there was just a wall of brain coral, I think it would work well. I don't know, guy. What do you think? Put in the comments section below which one of your designs was the favorite. I think that mine was the brain coral, but of course I'm a little biased because I've been looking at these blocks and already kind of favoring them already anyway, but... Ah, oh well, that's that. Well, that looks like all the time that we have for this episode. We did a lot today, and we're ending it with the Coral Reef. I mean, this place just looks really awesome. So, with all that being said, this is the end of the episode. If you like what you watch, click that like button. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. <laughs>